All right, so finally we are here with my two current masterpieces, the FPV Arachnid home-built quadcopter and the Black Racer home-built quadcopter. So let's take a look at the Black Racer first. This is the finished version now. Let me turn on the light on the camera. Okay, so far it looks like this. We have the Mobius mounted on uh, vibration damping plates with a small mini daylight OFM FPV camera on top of it. So I'm sure this should give me a vibration free video, hopefully. The ESCs are 12 amps from ZTW, Simon K. Uh, I tried my best to make the frame as much as uh, vibration free possible with these uh, double sided tapes uh, holding the uh, aluminum bar. So if motors are generating any current vibration, it should be absorbed here a little bit and then my this damping unit should absorb the lots of it. And uh, if we zoom in to Multi-V, Multi-V is actually mounted on top of those very soft four pieces of uh, uh, double-sided tape, so it's not getting any vibration for sure. Battery will be mounted on top, and I still have the option to mount the battery under it. So if I want, I can do that as well. And on the back, my trusted Fat Shark 250MW video transmitter. Sits so real neat and nice. So far, it's ugly, I know. But hey, if it is flying and it's ripping the skies and giving me some top speeds on FPV proximity flying, I'm happy with this one. Okay, and um, my Arachnid actually got an OSD right here on the back, so I'm getting all the flight data telemetry, including remaining battery. And at the same time, this OSD is going to control this huge patch antenna with automatic antenna tracker from my fly dream. So basically, my FPV Arachnid is going to test the AAT, that is MFD. So you can see this is the MFD antenna tracker. And running a 600MW video transmitter on Arachnid and at the ground station 23 dBi huge patch antenna tracking the quadcopter I'm sure I'm not gonna lose the video for five kilometers so let's see how the my flight dream antenna tracker will actually work I will keep you posted but for now I'm just waiting for raining to stop so I can actually fly the newest black racer quadcopter and see how it behaves Thank you.